Hey, millionaire. We've heard a lot of stories about lottery winners blowing their jackpots and ruining their lives in the process. I guess there's just something about winning big that makes people want to party a little too hard. Those stories are so common that you can forget that winners sometimes do really good things with their new fortunes. But that's why we're here. We've gathered incredible lottery stories with happy endings. These winners will remind you why you love playing the lottery and warm your heart at the same time. Let's get to it. Number 9. Eric Cochran Sometimes, good deeds get rewarded when you least expect it. Eric Cochran's son had been suffering from serious health issues, but he still loved playing guitar. Eric took his son's guitar to John Galvin's guitar store for repairs, but when he tried to pay, Eric refused to take his money. See, John knew about the tough times Eric's son was going through, and he wanted to repair the guitar as a gift. Eric tried to convince John to take at least $40 for the job, but John wouldn't accept, so Eric bought lottery tickets with the money instead. He told John that he'd split any winnings with him, 50-50. Obviously, neither of them expected to get anything, but they were wrong. Eric actually won $1 million. Sure, it's not the biggest win ever, but it's still a prize we'd all be happy to receive. Legally, because Eric bought the ticket, he could have kept the winnings to himself, but he kept his word and split the prize evenly with John to thank him for his good deed. Number 8. Neil Wanless Neil Wanless was just 23 years old back in 2009. He was a real-life cowboy from South Dakota, which sounds cool, until you hear half of South Dakota's population was living below the poverty line. Neil's family was one of them. Neil wasn't bringing in much money for being a cowboy, and his dad was forced to sell scrap metal to keep the family afloat. It didn't help. Sadly, their home was repossessed by the bank, and the family of four was forced to move into a tiny camper van. But everything changed when Neil decided to buy a Powerball ticket one day. It was the best decision he ever made. The ticket made him the largest jackpot winner ever in his state. Neil suddenly had $232.1 million. Instead of blowing the cash, he bought a ranch so he can keep on being a cowboy. He also used the money to pay back his neighbors, who helped his family through the tough times. That seems like a worthy way to spend a jackpot. What would you do with your lottery winnings? Tell us in the comments. Keep watching. You won't believe what the other winners did with their money. Number 7. Allen and Violet Large Allen and Violet Large were both over 70 years old when they won the lottery in 2010. They enjoyed playing the lottery, and the Canada Lotto 649 finally gave them their big win of 11.2 million Canadian dollars, or 8.6 million in US currency. That's just about enough to let them spend their retirement in luxury. But they weren't that sort of people. They felt they had enough savings for their retirement to live comfortably, so they decided to give away their win. And by that, I mean all of it. They kept just 2% for themselves in case of emergencies and gave everything else to friends, family, and local charities. They said they didn't need anything else because they had each other. I guess we can all learn a lesson or two from them. Number 6. Anonymous French Winner We all know how important it is to protect the environment. But that's not normally your first thought when you win the lottery. This anonymous French Euro Millions winner was different. When he won 200 million euros, or about 210 million dollars, he immediately knew what to do with his record-breaking jackpot. He opened a foundation that will help protect the environment and intend to give almost all his winnings to the foundation over the next few years. So far, we've seen some pretty incredible winner stories. If you feel you're in luck, you can play completely online by using The Lotter, the safest online lottery platform. You can play lotteries from all over the world from wherever you are. Remember to play responsibly. Check the link in the description. Let's move on. Number 5. Paul and Sue Rosenau I should tell you that this story starts off pretty sad. Paul and Sue had tragically lost their two-year-old granddaughter, Michaela, to crab disease in 2003. This terrible disease affects one in every 100,000 newborn babies and usually results in death before the age of two. On the fifth anniversary of Michaela's death, Paul and Sue were watching the news when Sue reminded Paul to check his lottery numbers. Paul didn't play every week, but he did have a ticket for this draw. They watched in amazement as the announcer read over every single one of Paul's numbers. The couple was suddenly $180.1 million richer. We can only guess what he'd do with a prize that big, but Paul and Sue knew exactly what they'd spend their jackpot on. They set up a nonprofit to help fund research into the disease that ended their granddaughter's life in the hopes that they would be able to find a cure. Their foundation, called the Legacy of Angels, not only helps families pay for treatment, but they've also funded promising research that might actually lead to a cure in their near future. They might not have been able to save Michaela, but their lottery win could potentially save countless children like her in their future. 
Number 4. Francis Connolly Francis Connolly became a bit of a celebrity after giving away most of her jackpot winnings. You'll realize how generous this was when you hear how much she'd won. Her Euro Millions jackpot made her 115 million British pounds richer. That's about 140 million dollars. She started out giving away big chunks of her new fortune to friends and family. Amazingly, she'd already made a list of who she would give money to before she'd even won. But Francis said that giving money to those people made her addicted to helping others. So she kept doing it. So far, she's donated more than half of her prize to others, and it looks like she's going to keep doing it. Number 3. The Best Daughter in the World What's the best thing you ever gave your mom for Mother's Day? This woman from New Zealand bought her mom a lottery ticket as a Mother's Day gift. Sure, that sounds like it was just a cheap gift, but she had already checked the numbers before giving it to her mom. Even though she knew the ticket was worth over 2.2 million, she still put it in the envelope with a card for her mom. We can only guess how proud her mom was for raising such a generous daughter. What's the best gift you've ever given your mom? Let us know in the comments. Number 2. Brian Parisi most people would never have thought to give away their lottery winnings if they'd been in Brian Parisi's position. He's been having a really tough two years, starting with a really bad car accident that left him with a serious injury. As if that wasn't bad enough, he'd also been diagnosed with cancer. He kind of deserved to win the lottery after that, and that's exactly what happened. He took home a million dollars thanks to the Massachusetts State's lottery Double Your Money instant ticket game. Nobody would have thought he was being greedy if he kept that money to himself, but he didn't. The first thing he did was to repair his brother-in-law's house to thank him for helping him through his rough patch. See, helping good people can pay off. And finally, our number one happy ending. Number one is Pearlie Mae Smith. By the time Pearlie Mae Smith won big, she'd already raised seven children to adulthood, so she knew a thing or two about giving. In 2016, she was rewarded with the sixth largest Powerball jackpot in history. It was an incredible $429 million. I know, that's an insane amount of money. The first thing she did was to split the money into eight parts, so her kids got as much out of it as she did. That paid off their mortgages and student loans, but she didn't stop there. Her children joined her in setting up the Smith Family Foundation, a charity aimed at helping people in need get an education and enter the workforce. She hoped that by giving people skills instead of a financial handout, she'd be able to empower the community for many years to come.